It is your time. It is your move. Go take it. Once again, Georgia's really, really good. Once again, it's got to figure out the quarterback situation. Once again, people are talking about Mark Richt on a possible hot seat. And once again, there's no real excuse for Georgia to not at least take the SEC East championship. Last year, the Bulldogs lost three games, two by a total of nine points. So is this the year Georgia finally gets back over the hump and wins the SEC title? Here's the deal with the 2015 Bulldogs. Yeah, the quarterback situation might be the main focus, but there are several good options to play around with, with Bryce Ramsey the lead in this. But who's he going to throw to? The O-line will be the strength, paving the way for Nick Chubb and the ground game to carry the load, but the strength of the team is probably going to be in the secondary with loads of young talent. However, the front seven needs an overhaul. This year, though, it's all going to come down to the ground game. Georgia ran for under 200 yards just two games last year, Georgia Tech and Florida, and they lost both those games. Since the opener against Clemson in 2013, they've only lost once when running for 200 yards or more. So can this be an SEC championship season? At the very least, even with the concerns on the defensive front, they should be able to get really, really close to the title. They have to face Alabama and they have to go to Tennessee and Auburn, but Missouri and South Carolina are home games. So put the bar at nine wins, even if the fan base is looking for far more. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 Bulldogs, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.